Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the all new Toyota Tundra 1794 edition, so let's get right into the video. Let's go over the Tundra 1794 edition, and this one has the uh, TRD off road package as well. First off, you guys can see here with the paint, beautiful blue metallic flake. I thought that looked really good. Uh, it's kind of hard to show on camera, but you know, I did the best I could with the showroom lighting. You guys can see the headlights with the accenting and then down below uh, and then obviously the chrome accenting here on the front grille is part of that 1794 package on the Toyota logo as well and then down below on the Tundra logo and then you guys can see here with the rest of it still got the fog lights there at the bottom and then you can see here kind of how everything's shaped and uh, the TRD offered package does give you some uh, skid plates if I remember right and so do have that happening underneath and then you guys can see kind of like the full side view here. So notice that we've got the TRD wheels that are part of that package, which uh, I think look really good all blacked out. Uh, it doesn't go with the theme of this particular truck, but still looks good. You can see the Bilstein shocks that are also part of the TRD off-road package. Those are in blue. And then you got the splash guards on the truck. And notice we've got the body painted fender flare, which I think looks great. Uh, definitely nicer than just exposed plastic. Chrome mirrors. And I uh, noticed the chrome accent here at the bottom with the 1794 edition logo and then chrome door handles as well and this way i think it's weird that the uh, wheels are blacked out because like the rest of the truck has a bunch of chrome on it so it's kind of uh, interesting let me know what you guys think on that and then you got the again belstein shocks there in the rear and uh, obviously the trd 4x4 off-road sticker there on the side and there's kind of like your full side view and you guys will notice here with uh the tailgate uh, and actually uh is pretty light uh, to lower down if you do hold it. And then notice this one's got the bed liner, you've got the LED lights there as well, which adds some practicality. And got a full power outlet, which is pretty cool. It seems like every truck has one now, which is great. LED cargo light there at the top. And uh, I remember lifting up the tailgate with the new Tundra, it's, it's pretty light. Got Tundra stamped into the bed. Got the new LED lights there in the rear for the tail lights. And then you can see the parking sensors here on the rear. And popping underneath, you guys can see the new uh, coil suspension, at least part of it, and the exhaust tip that pops out the side. It's kind of like a signature thing with the Tundra. It's having the exhaust tip out the side. And then popping the interior, this is uh, what the 1794 edition is all about. So this is kind of like the loaded up Western theme truck. So that's why we've got the brown with the leather and then the, with the wood trim as well. And you guys will see that carries over into the uh, seats. Again, lighting is horrible, but, you know, got to deal with what I got to deal with so you can see all the brown leather there on the seats and uh, you guys can see here with the under seat storage on the Tundra it's great it's got little compartments and then the floor mats again that western theme kind of continues uh, and so this uh, think about this as kind of like a competitor to the Rams Longhorn and uh, Ford's King Ranch but it doesn't have a million logos like the King Ranch right you guys can see room back here is really good with the uh, Tundra. And then it's got heated and cooled seats for the rear, which I thought was pretty impressive. And then you got all the charging ports down below. And then you can see you've got the armrest cup holder. So that means that yeah, only Ram and Toyota are the uh, main, or sorry, Ram and Toyota are the only manufacturers, rather, that you can get ventilated seats in the rear because Ford still doesn't offer that. And then you can see here with the front, again, chrome on the door handle. And uh, notice there's a little bit of ambient lighting too, which I think looks cool. Uh, kind of shows up there on camera a little bit. And you can see all the leather trim and the wood trim, all that fun stuff. All of your window controls. And notice you got the functions for the memory seats and then the mirrors. They do have blind spot wandering. And then here are the front seats again with the brown leather, which I think looks great. I think the design on the seats is nice too. And then notice power adjustments there on the side. And then popping in, you can see the steering wheel. So this is just the normal Tundra steering wheel. Uh, so you guys have seen this like in my reviews with like the you know, tier D sport, uh, loaded up SR5, that kind of stuff. Now, so you do have adaptive cruise control and you guys can see the regular stocks there behind it for like the lights and the windshield wipers and all that fun stuff. I think this one popped on. Yeah. That was the thing that I liked about the Tundras is they actually popped on with the, uh, you know, gauge cluster and in the infotainment system at least, or at least showed the, uh, startup animation and see the infotainment system here. And uh, with the new infotainment system, uh, it's really responsive. The one thing I will say is the smaller infotainment system functions the same as this larger one. And so if you, if the larger one doesn't come standard with your package, don't feel like you need to get it because the smaller one 
like I said, functions the same. You see the full digital gauge cluster that also comes with this package. And I think it's funny, I haven't seen like a digital gauge cluster at a, you know, dealership Tundra yet, but, you know, obviously the auto show, I saw this, so it was cool to see it in person. Got the heated and cooled seats for the front passengers and the rest of the climate controls right there. And then also got the drive mode select down below. As you can see, you've got a few different drive modes, sport, normal, and eco. Not as many as the uh, loaded up Tundra, but still get quite a few drive modes here with the 1794 edition. I love the tier D button too. I think that's pretty cool. Got that for like the camera system, stability control, locker, all that fun stuff. And I was like, yep, oops, I probably shouldn't have turned that off because couldn't show you guys the camera or anything like that. And then also the trailer assistance and then no wireless phone charger. And then a couple cup holders with the wood trim. And then you guys can see you've got then nice uh, shifter there in the center. Drive line select. No four wheel auto though, I've noticed which is interesting. And then we've got the pass-through at the center console, all the wood trim on it, the leather as well. Kind of normal Tundra stuff now at this point, right? And uh, also notice the wood trim there on the glove box and the leather all over the dash, the stitching. Uh, I think it looks great. Definitely has that premium upscale appearance to it. And then you guys can see the storage space there with the glove box and panoramic center. Again, another thing that I haven't seen at any dealership yet and I guess we'll talk about the uh, engine powering this. Uh, so this Tundra just has the regular uh, iForce uh, Max, right? And so it's, uh, or sorry, just regular engine. So it's just twin turbo 3.5 liter V6, goes through 10 speed automatic transmission, and it's good for 389 horsepower, 479 pound feet of torque. It's not the hybrid. So it's just the regular uh, engine, but you can get the hybrid as an option with the 1794, I'm pretty sure. So that's another cool thing, but yeah, that's the 1794 edition. Especially if you go with the white color. Right. Black is not bad white color. Right. Because if you go without the shade, because it's black, you know, that's fun to go later. 